Ouch. Lights, camera and action. Hi and welcome to Nerds Out of Water. Nerds Out of Water is a podcast brought to you normally by Michael Lobb and David Camus. Michael runs TeamScale, a company delivering successful software development projects. I run One Bright Cloud, heading up a team of techs and futurists looking at autonomous vehicles, AI and other things that seem to go bump in the night and handing them over to Michael to try and develop it. We challenge our own perspectives and try and see it from each other's. You don't need to agree with us, but after 20 minutes or so, we hope you definitely have an idea of what we're talking about. I'd like to talk to you about something that's on everybody's minds, and that's COVID-19. I know you've probably heard too much about it already, but I'd like to come from a different angle. I'd like to speak today about stress, whether it be financial stress, personal stress, or any stress that might be on you. In the last 48 hours, I've lost two fairly close associates, completely independent of each other, both of them due to COVID-19. Neither of these two contracted it. They were both healthy. They were both happy family men. They were both married. They both had children. They both owned their own businesses. And up until three months ago, those businesses were probably very, very successful. At the moment, everyone is under pressure to complete all sorts of forms for relief. And every form we fill out is a little more removed from reality. They tend to just merge in. It puts pressure on us, on you and on your families. And every time you talk to the bank about money, every time you talk about credit cards or people you owe money to, car loans, Hardship forms are some of the most difficult forms you'll fill out because when you start filling them out, you tell a story that you actually don't want anybody else to hear and it's your story. And what I ask is talk to someone. When you start getting under pressure or even before you start getting under pressure, if you want to know about forms and things that are going on, talk to someone. I am not a financial advisor but I can show you where to go to get federal, to get state government help. I can show you the banks and the credit card companies and the forms that they'll want to fill out. I'm not a psychologist, but I always have a lending ear. I can help you find support and I can help you work it through. We all need to work together. Most of all, I want you to look after yourselves. When there's absolutely no way out of a situation, however bad that may be, and you may think no one has ever seen it from your perspective, which is probably correct, but they have seen it. There are people, there are lots of people out there at the moment who are struggling, who have been told by rental companies to get out or after this is over we're going to get rid of you because you haven't paid your rent and it doesn't matter what the government puts in the hard facts are actually out there and they actually hurt so you need to talk I need to talk and we all need to stand up there are plenty of mental health and suicide prevention units out there that will help us through this and who are just on the other end of the phone. Most of them are 24 hours. Things, uh, places like Lifeline, Black Dog, Beyond Blue, uh, Reach Out, even Kids Helpline. Please stand up for yourself. Don't take the pressure on too much and make a phone call. Look after you.